सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वाड्री लैटरल्स पेज नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट सिक्स ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम The diagonals of a parallelogram in general are not of equal length. Did you check this in your earlier activity? However, the diagonals of a parallelogram have an interesting property. Do this. Take a cut out of a parallelogram, say A B C D. You can observe this in Figure three point two nine. Let its diagonals A C and D B meet at A O. Find the midpoint of AC by a fold, placing C on A. Is the midpoint same as O? Does this show that diagonal DB bisects the diagonal AC at the point O? Discuss it with your friends. Repeat the activity to find where the midpoint of DB could lie. Figure three point two nine. Here we have a parallelogram ABCD. The diagonals AC and BD have been made with the help of dotted line. They intersect at the midpoint O. Property: The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other at the point of their intersection. Of course, to argue and justify this property is not very difficult. From Figure three point three zero, applying ASA criterion, it is easy to observe that. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. How is ASA used here? This gives AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. We have Figure three point three zero. It is a parallelogram ABCD with diagonals AC and BD made with the help of dotted lines. At the intersecting point of these diagonals. Midpoint O has been marked. AB is equal to CD, and this has been done with the help of one dash over these lines. Angle one, two, three, and four have also been marked. Example six, in Figure three point three one, HELP is a parallelogram. Lengths are in centimeters. Given that OE is equal to four and HL is five more than PE, find OH. Figure three point three one. Here we have a parallelogram HELP. Two diagonals have been drawn HL and EP with the help of dotted lines. O is the intersecting point of these diagonals. OE is equal to four centimeter. Solution: If OE is equal to four, then OP also is four. Why? So PE is equal to eight. Why? Therefore, HL is equal to eight plus five is equal to thirteen. Hence, OH is equal to half into thirteen is equal to six point five centimeters. Exercise. Three point three, one. Given a parallelogram ABCD, complete each statement along with the definition or property used. Here we have a parallelogram ABCD. Diagonals AC and BD have been made with the help of dotted lines and intersect at point O. One, AD is equal to dash two. Angle DCB is equal to dash three. OC is equal to dash four. M angle DAB plus M angle CDA is equal to dash. Page number fifty one. Two. Consider the following parallelograms. Find the value of the unknowns x, y, z. One, we have a parallelogram ABCD. Angle B is equal to hundred degree. Angle C is x. Angle D is y. Angle A is z. 
2. Here we have a parallelogram where one angle is 50 degree, one is x, another is y and the fourth angle is not given but its exterior angle is z. 3. Here we have a parallelogram in the shape of a kite. There is a 90 degree angle where the diagonals are intersecting. Opposite to it is angle X. In the triangle of angle X, we have angle Y and a 30 degree angle. In the triangle where we identified the right angle is another angle named Z. 4. Here we have a parallelogram where one angle is 80 degree. Opposite to it is an exterior angle named Z and on the opposite side we have angles X and Y. 5. Here we have a parallelogram where one angle is 112 degree. The angle opposite to it is Y. There is a diagonal running in the middle. On one side of diagonal there are angles 40 degree and Z. On the other side, there is an angle marked X. 3. Can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if 1. Angle D plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. 2. AB is equal to DC is equal to 8 cm. AD is equal to 4 cm. And BC is equal to 4.4 cm. 3. Angle A is equal to 70 degree and angle C is equal to 65 degree. 4. Draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles of equal measure. 5. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. 6. Two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. 7. The adjacent figure HOPE is a parallelogram. Find the angle measures X, Y and Z. State the properties you use to find them. Here we have a parallelogram HOPE. Angle E is X. PH is a diagonal running in the middle. Angle P has been divided into two parts and one of them is Y. Angle H has been divided into two parts. One of them is 40 degree. The other is Z. Angle O is not given. But the angle exterior to it is 70 degree. 8. The following figures, GUNS and RUNS, are parallelograms. Find X and Y. 1. Here we have a parallelogram, GUNS. GU is equal to 3Y minus 1. UN is equal to 18. NS is equal to 26. GS is equal to 3X. 2. Here we have a parallelogram. RUNS. The diagonal RN has been divided into two parts, 16 and X plus Y. The diagonal SU has been divided into two parts, 20 and Y plus 7. 9. Here we have a quadrilateral, KULR. There is a 120 degree angle on K and 70 degree angle on L. There are two intersecting lines IS and CE in the middle of the figure. An angle X is being formed at their point of intersection. In the above figure, both RISK and CLUE are parallelograms. Find the value of X. Page number 52 10. Explain how this figure is a trapezium, which of its two sides are parallel. 
You can observe this in figure 3.32. Figure 3.32, we have a figure KLMN. Angle M is 100 degree. Angle L is 80 degree. 11. Find M angle C in figure 3.33 if AB is parallel to DC. Figure 3.33 We have a quadrilateral ABCD. Angle B is 120 degree. 12. Find the measure of angle P and angle S if SP is parallel to RQ in figure 3.34. If you find M angle R, is there more than one method to find M angle P? 3.5 Some special parallelograms 3.5.1 Rhombus We obtain a rhombus, which you will observe is a parallelogram as a special case of kite, which is not a parallelogram. Do this. Recall the paper cut you made earlier. Here, we have two cuts. One is kite cut and we can observe the vertices ABC. Another is rhombus cut. Here also we can observe the vertices ABC. When you cut along ABC and opened up, you got a kite. Here, length AB and BC were different. If you draw AB is equal to BC, then the kite you obtain is called a rhombus. Note that the sides of rhombus are all of same length. This is not the case with the kite. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with sides of equal length. Since the opposite sides of a rhombus have the same length, it is also a parallelogram. So, a rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram and also that of a kite. Try to list them out. You can then verify your list with the checklist summarized in the book elsewhere. Here, we have two quadrilaterals. One is kite. There is a single dash on two sides of kite and double dash on the other two sides of kite. Dotted lines make the diagonals here. Then we have rhombus. There's a single dash on all the sides. Dotted lines join the diagonals. Page number 53. The most useful property of a rhombus is that of its diagonals. Property. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of one another. Do this. Take a copy of rhombus. By paper folding, Verify if the point of intersection is the midpoint of each diagonal. You may also check if they intersect at right angles using the corner of a set square. Here is an outline justifying this property using logical steps. ABCD is a rhombus you can observe in figure 3.35. Figure 3.35 here we have a rhombus ABCD. The diagonals are made with dotted line and connect at point O. There is a single dash on BO and OD, double dash on AO and OC. Therefore, it is a parallelogram too, since diagonals bisect each other. OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. We have to show that M angle AOD is equal to M angle COD is equal to 90 degree. It can be observed that by SSS congruency criterion, triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COD. Since AO is equal to CO. Why? Therefore, M angle AOD is equal to M angle COD. Since angle AOD and COD are a linear pair, AD is equal to CD. Why? OD is equal to OD. M angle AOD is equal to M angle COD is equal to 90 degree. Example 7. RICE 
is a rhombus. You can observe in figure 3.36. Find x, y, z. Justify your findings. Here we have a rhombus R, I, C, E. The diagonals connect as dotted lines at point O. ER is equal to 13. IR is equal to Z. OR is equal to Y. OI is equal to 5. And OC is equal to 12. Solution. X is equal to OE is equal to OI diagonals bisect is equal to 5. Y is equal to OR is equal to OC diagonals bisect is equal to 12. Z is equal to side of the rhombus is equal to 13. All sides are equal. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India